Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Rupa K. M. I am a Dean for Skill Development and also a Student Welfare Officer and also Eisen Officer. Apart from that, I am a Professor in the Department of Mathematics, Bangalore Institute of Technology, Bangalore. Then uh, before I am going to start today uh, the session, I am uh, going to uh, thank for e-learning, they are giving a platform to uh, prepare video for 18 mat 6 by 3 advanced linear algebra for module uh, 3 and 4. Uh, once again I am thanking for e-learning all the faculty and, uh, and teaching and uh, uh, technical faculty. Once again I am going uh, grateful to thank for everyone. Yeah. Let us we are going to start today module uh, 3 is in a product space. See, you already know that why you need to study for advanced linear algebra. You said algebra is very, advanced linear algebra is very much useful in your core subject. Uh, either you coming from mechanical, civil engineer or uh, electrical, uh, but we are not going to allow for electronics and telecom because they already studied in the uh, this uh, linear algebra in the fourth semester along with the statistics computer science and ISC. These things are especially for linear algebra is very much useful is AI and ML and also classification, clustering of the image means digital image processing. In everywhere they are going to use especially for what are the topic we are given in the module 1, module 2, module 3 and module 4. But you know that module 5 is a applications. We introduce some application based on advanced linear algebra, not for all the application, few applications. This is related to computer science and then, then we know that in fifth module, why you need to study for advanced linear algebra. Therefore, let us start today. The first uh, thing is module uh, 3 is in a product space. It is already I written on the board, the headline, the headline of the module is in a product space. Now, before I am going to introduce inner product space, first we are going to uh, introduce what is the definition of inner product. I think you already studied inner product where in vector, uh, vector calculus in vector, but apart from that uh, within one minute I am going to give a uh, uh, definition of inner product. Now, what is the inner product? If we want to define inner product, product, first you have to require a vector space. Then here in this class, I am not going to explain what is our vector space because you already know that in module 1 vector space in detail, vector space you already use in module 2 also. Therefore, in linear transformation also depending upon vector space. Therefore, I am going to assume that those who are uh, uh, listening my video, you know that vector space. Based on that assumption, I am going to define what is a uh, inner product. Now, first try to define a inner product. If we want to define inner product, I require two vectors, at least I require two vectors. I am going to take uh, u and v are two vectors in vector space over a field f. Now, I am choosing two vectors u and v in the vector space over a field f, you know that is denoted by v of f. Now, inner product of u and v is denoted by, you write this is a way, this is a standard notation, it is nothing but u dot v the condition the, the depends upon what type of uh, u and v. u may be u and v are may be a row vector or may be a column vector. Suppose u and v where u and v are row vector where sorry where u and v are column vector u and v are column vectors. Yeah that is u dot v just like a dot product what you studied in uh, vectors. Inner product of u comma v is nothing, but u transpose into v the condition is where u and v are row vector, row vectors. For example, I am going to take u must be equal to 1, 2, 3. This is a row vector and then v also both are must be in the same form is nothing, but which type vector is I am going to take is a column vector uh, 4, 5, 6 both are row vector. Now, what I told inner product between u and v I have to define u transpose v when uh, the, uh, the what about that uh, just I have to take a dot product I, I told uh, wrong here 
you inner product of u comma v is nothing but just a dot product where u and v are rho vectors sorry where u and v are rho vectors here this is column vectors okay i'm going to repeat once again now if we want to define a inner product means at least are equal to vectors u and v i choose in a vector space over a field f inner product of u comma u comma v is is denoted by like that is nothing but u dot v the condition is where u and v are rho vectors you inner product of u comma v is u transpose into v just multiplication is nothing but where u and v are column vector for example here i taken u and v are rho vectors now i want to find out inner product of u comma v is nothing but just u dot v what is u dot v 1 comma 2 comma 3 dot 1 comma 4 comma 5 or 6 just take a dot product what we get actually now 1 into 4 is 4 plus 52s are 10 36s are 18 then at 14 now we get a uh, uh, 32 now same thing i'm going to take is a column vector say u is equal to 1 2 3 okay and v is 4 5 6 i'm take it uh, in the form of column now in this case what is inner product of u comma v is u transpose into v u transpose means rho column becomes transpose means column become rho is nothing but what actually a uh, one 2 3 if we want to put a comma or you leave space both are must be same into 4 5 and 6 multiply that 4 plus 10 plus 80 we get same thing therefore there are two the way of defining a inner product between two vector depends upon either row vector or maybe a column vector keep in mind this is very very important in throughout inner product space and also in the fourth module also is very very important now based on that i'm going to define what is inner product space now this is i think clear everyone how the inner product are between two vectors yeah now i'm going to define inner product space if we want to define inner product space i need at least three vectors in a vector space for a field f and i and need some scalar and also we observed in the inner product between two vectors uh, what i written for a uh, uh, whatever that uh, u dot p suppose u and v are uh, row vector say u is equal to 1 2 3 and uh, simply i'm going to take v is nothing but 4 5 6 now once you find out the inner product the what is that value is nothing but a scalar therefore you already know that in the vector dot product between two vectors that become a scalar here also is inner product between two vectors we are taking a dot product between two vectors therefore we what's the value you are expecting scalar keep in mind once you take the uh, inner product that give rise scalar value now we are going to define inner product space now if we want to define inner product space i'm going to choose at uh, least three vectors say alpha beta gamma or uh, two three vectors is in or if you want to take u v w is in vector space over a field f and also i'm choose the scalar say c1 c2 belongs to uh, where in the field okay this is scalar now if you now if you now when will we say that the given vector space is an inner product space let v be a vector space over a field f it is a inner product space it must be satisfies the following conditions the first condition is inner product of u comma v must be equal to inner product of v comma w v comma uh, u this property is called symmetry yeah this word is not given in any textbook i refer some google uh, this uh, article they are given this result is called symmetry okay now it must be satisfy symmetry property and also it must be satisfy in uh, addition with the first lot additivity in the first lot alpha uh, uh, means u plus v comma w 
is nothing but inner product of u comma w plus inner product of v comma w. This property is called additivity in the first lot. Why they treated is a first lot here? You they treated this position as a first position, this is as a second position. Therefore, we have addition in where in the first position. Therefore, this uh, proper, uh, uh, property is called additivity in the first lot. Now, move to the third one. Now, we are going to take third one is homogeneity in the first lot, means C into U comma V is nothing but C into inner product of U comma V. This is nothing but homogeneity homogeneity in the first lot. Okay. Now, the fourth uh, property is inner product of alpha comma uh, sorry u comma u must be greater than or equal to 0 and also inner product of alpha uh, u comma u must be 0 if and only if in which case this is 0 u must be 0 vector u is equal to 0 where 0 is a what belongs to vector space over a field f. Yeah. This property is called positivity especially for this property is called positivity means greater than or equal to 0 that is property is called positivity. This is called definiteness. Yeah. Now, in any vector space satisfy these four condition, now we treat it consider the corresponding vector space is an inner product space for a field F. Yeah. Before moving to the next step, again I have to recall, uh, recall that uh, definition of inner product space. If you want to define an inner product space, you need a vector space. Now, I have to choose V is a vector space over a field F and now I am choosing three vectors A, U, V, W is in a vector space over a field. I am taking one uh, C 1, C 2 or if you want to take only the C itself is enough here, C belongs to is a scalar. Now, it must be satisfied. See, suppose I am going to take V is a inner product space over a field F, it must be satisfies the following four conditions. The first condition is symmetry means inner product of u comma v can also be written as v comma w, v comma u it's just like a commutativity. Either you change these two position does not matter both the values are same. The th second one additivity in the first lot means with the first position we have taken two vector in the addition form and then third vector that can also be written as sum of their inner product values. That is we did addition in the first position that is called additivity in the first lot and also is satisfy, you know, it must be satisfy homogeneity in the first lot. Suppose you multiply any scalar in the first position that can also be take it the scalar entire outside of the inner product does not matter both the values are same. The fourth one you inner product of u comma u is greater than or equal to 0 that is nothing but the positivity means greater than a is greater than equal to 0 means it is a positivity. And also inner product of suppose inner product of u comma u is 0, what is the condition if and only if that u must be 0. 0 is nothing but 0 vector that belongs to vector space over a field f. Any vector space over a field f is satisfy these four conditions. What are the conditions? It must be symmetry, it must be homoge homogeneity in the first lot, additivity in the first lot and also the positivity and definiteness. Then we consider the corresponding vector space for over a field is nothing but is inner product space over a field F. The next under the inner product space defining there are two things one is a Euclidean space another one is unitary space depending upon the what type of uh, uh, field we are consider. See vector space suppose I am defining vector space over a field F, F may be having a set of real numbers or may be having a complex numbers. Whenever I defining vector space over a field F is a set of real numbers, the corresponding inner product space as for my reference I am going to take IPS inner product space is called Euclidean space. 
Euclidean space. Okay. Suppose we are defining a vector space for a field F is nothing but set of complex number, then corresponding inner product space is nothing but unitary space. Yeah, there are two types comes under inner product space depending upon what type of uh, field we are taken, real or uh, maybe a set of complex number. But what are the uh, concept we are going to deal further uh, steps? We are taking usually is a set of real numbers means we are consider inner product space based on the which space Euclidean space. What we are considering inner product space is nothing but Euclidean, Euclidean space. Okay. Now, next uh, before move to the next concept, I am going to take one problem how to verify suppose they given a vectors how to verify in a, a vector space is, a, is an inner product space. If you is had to verify means it must verify all four conditions. Okay. Yeah, before going to uh, verify that uh, condition, now I am going to uh, consider some results in the note. Note note number 1. Anyway, suppose V is a vector is a V is, v is a inner product space over a field F is satisfied four conditions symmetry, additivity in the first slot, additivity in the second slot, uh, sorry, additivity in the first slot, additive uh, what about uh, uh, scalar multiplication is nothing but uh, uh, homogeneity in the first slot and also deafness uh, positivity deafness you know that. Based on the uh, uh, properties of uh, inner product space, we are going to uh, derive few more results. Now, I am going to take inner product of u comma c into v. Here, I take a scalar multiplication in the second position, means this is nothing but additivity in the second slot. Now, you already know that v is a vector space over inner pro is a vector space and also is an inner product space over a field f. Now, now I want to know what happen inner product of u comma c into v. From the first property of uh, inner product space, what is the first property? Symmetry. What is the symmetry? Inner product of u comma v must be equal to v comma w, v comma u that from that this can also be written as inner product of c, comma c into v comma u this is by symmetric. Yeah. Next from the additivity, additivity of the first slot this can be written as c into v inner product of v, v comma u. Again this is from additivity of the first slot. Okay. Again from symmetric this can be written as inner product of u comma v from symmetric. Therefore, now either inner product of u comma c v can also be written as c into inner product of u comma v. Keep in mind we derive this based on we assume that v is a inner product space over a field f. Suppose v is a inner product of over a field f is also satisfied additivity in the which slot? Second slot and also uh, not additivity this is homogeneity homogeneity of the first slot. Here also homogeneity of the this, this is nothing but homogeneity of the second slot. We derive not only homogeneity in the uh, first slot, it is possible to take homogeneity in the second slot also, but keep in mind second slot is uh, uh, valued only the case is the vector space is nothing but inner product space. Otherwise, you cannot uh, right, this uh, inner product of u comma c v is nothing but c into inner product of u comma v. We derive this based on v is a inner product space over a field f. Means we satisfied homogeneity for the second uh, what about uh, second slot also. And then similarly, I am going to take second one. Suppose v is an inner product space over a field f. Now inner product of u plus v comma w is nothing but now, from the symmetry, because we already assume that V is inner product space for a field F, therefore, this is nothing but <coughs> W comma, uh, this is we already know that this slot we already know that I am going to take U comma V plus W. We are taking in the second position in addition. 
from the symmetry this can be written as V plus W comma U. This is by symmetry of inner product space. In the next step, now here observe carefully from the additivity of the first lot this can be written as V comma W plus V comma U plus W comma U from additivity of the first slot. Okay. Again from the symmetry this can be written as u comma v comma plus u comma w. This is how uh, from the symmetry. This shows that additivity of the second slot also valued the condition is the v must be in our product space for a field f. Yes, these things are uh, very, very important. Uh, whenever I have to solve the problem, we are using additivity in the first slot and also second slot. Suppose they given already, we say inner product space. Now, keep in mind before move to the next step, we say inner product space for a field F means it must be set as symmetric, additivity in the first slot, homogeneity in the first slot, and also positivity and definiteness. From the inner product uh, space, uh, inner product space definition, we derived additivity uh, of the second slot also allow is uh, possible and also additivity of the homogeneity of the second slot also valued. The condition is V must be in our product space. You added the, these, the, these two the properties as, but not necessary to verify these two. It is enough to verify only four, but what we are uh, I am showing that while solving a problem, instead of additivity on the first slot, I am going to take second slot also, homogeneity also, second slot. Okay. Now, we are uh, before move to the next topic. Now, we have to uh, discuss one problem based on inner product space. show that u is having a two components dimension 2 and you already know the dimension everything where in, in in the vector space v equals v1 comma v2 in vector space in a product space or vector space over a set of real numbers, what how many components have two that is why I am written V of R square R you have to write V 2 of R. So, many notation R just you write R square all R must be same only defined by inner product of u comma V is nothing but 4 u 1 V 1 plus 5 u 2 v 2 is a inner product space, inner product space. Okay. Now, they given two vectors in a vector space for a field R with the dimension 2, then I to show that what we define, suppose I choose two vectors in v 2 of R or v of R square. In a product of u comma v, they define 4 u 1 v, v 2 plus 5 u 2 v 2. Based on this defined, I have to show that the given inner product space or a set of real numbers with dimension 2 is a inner given a vector space is a inner product space. It is enough to verify first uh, what is a homo uh, symmetric. Now, I am going to choose inner product of u comma v. From the definition of inner product, if you want to choose let u v w is in v 2 of r and then see some scale r. Okay. Now, in a product of u comma v, now from the definition of suppose I choose u v w is in v 2 of r, u is having a components of u 1 comma u 2, uh, v is having a components are v 1 comma v 2 and also w is having a components of w 1 comma w 2. Okay. That is understood, because they are given very clearly u and v is in v of v 2 of r means it is enough to uh, clear 
yeah, the u having two components, v is having uh, two components, w is also having three com uh, two components in the product of u comma v. From the uh, what they define in a product of u comma v, then the problem what they define 4 u 1 v 1 plus 5 u 2 v 2. This can also be written as 4 into v 1 u 1 plus 5 into v 2 u 2 does not matter the value because I interchange the product. See observe in a product of u comma v is nothing but 4 u 1 v 1 plus 5 u 2 u 2 v 2 therefore, similarly 4 u v 1 u 1 I written v function first plus 5 v 2 u 2 is nothing but from the what they define is nothing but in a product of v comma u means it satisfied which property symmetric property. Next try to verify whether is satisfied based on what they define in the problem is a additivity in the first slot. Now, I consider in a product of u plus w, u plus v comma w or u plus w comma v whatever may be. Now, first you find out what is u plus v, u is u 1 v 1, u 1 u 2, what is v, v 1 v 2. The sum is nothing but I to take sum of the uh, corresponding components, first components and second component u 1 plus v 1 comma u 2 plus v 2. This is our sum keep in mind. Now, now this is uh, what from the now I am for suppose you confuse u plus v you take it as uh, what actually uh, some uh, say u plus v is nothing but I am going to take some uh, you already taken w we have taken uh, take it as uh, x ok. I, uh, for my convenient what I am going to take u plus v is nothing but x keep in mind is already written what is u plus v on the board yeah, in a product of x comma w. You already known that you already known that from the define what is in a product of u comma v is nothing but 4 u 1 what is u 1 x 1 into w 1 yes what they given here same thing w 1 yes plus uh, 5 into x 2 into w 2 ok because w is having what w 1 w 2. Now, I am going to substitute what is my x 1 keep in mind u plus v is x uh, x uh, x x means having how many components 2 components x 1 comma x 2 x 1 means this x 2 means u 2 plus v 2 now I have to substitute what is my uh, x uh, x 1 u 1 <coughs> yeah u uh, u 1 plus v 1 ok into w 1 plus 5 into what is x 2 is nothing but u 2 plus v 2 into w 2 do not confuse that is why I taken different notation. Now, I try to express in the defined form apply the what they define in the problem and then substitute capital X 1 and X 2 capital X is nothing but having two components X 1 and X 2 that is the thing why to, uh, that X belongs to v 2 of form is they must be having two components. Now, I to simplify 4 u 1 w 1 yeah I will take uh, uh, and then 4 v 1 w 1 ok and then 5 u 2 w 2 plus 5 v 2 w 2 group that 4 u 1 w 1 I will group it with 5 u 2 w 2 ok fine plus remaining 4 v 1 w 1 I will group v 1 v 2 so ones and uh, u 1 u 2 is another one. Uh, 5 v 2 w 2 ok fine. From what they define here in the from the define in the problem is nothing but u in a product of u comma w right in a product of u comma w plus from the define in a product of v comma w yeah what we take in beginning in a product of u plus d, uh, v comma w is nothing but what we get finally in a product of u comma w plus in a product of v comma w that is nothing but part additivity in the first slot additivity in the first slot 
is satisfy the second property of inner product space. A move to uh, th this is a first property, this is second property, a move to uh, what actually third one homogeneity of the first lot. Therefore, consider in a product of C u comma does comma v. Okay. Yeah, you know that what is uh, in a product of uh, u comma v is nothing but 4 u 1 v 1 plus 5 u 2 v 2. See what is my u, u is in a u 1 comma u 2. Therefore, what is C u? C into u 1 comma u 2 is nothing but C u 1 comma C u 2. Therefore, the components of C u is nothing but C u u 1 comma C u 2. From what they define here, 4 u 1 means C u 1 into v 1 okay, plus 5 into C u 2 because already written C u what is the second component into v 2. What is a common factor from these two terms? C, therefore, I will take it out set C into 4 u 1 v 1 plus 5 u 2 v 2. Now, from what they define is nothing but C into inner product of u comma v. Therefore, it satisfied what actually homogeneity in the first slot. Okay. The next is inner product of u comma u, this is a fourth property. Inner product of u comma u is nothing but, yeah, see what they are telling here for u 1. See, keep in mind here u comma u, u 1 into u 1. Instead of u 1, what do we get? u 1 once again, means u 1 square plus pi into u 2 square, because instead of v 1, v 2, again we get u 1 and u 2, therefore u 1 square. See, even though u 1, u 2 are negative, negative value, what is square of that positive? Therefore, sum must be greater than equal to greater than 0. It satisfies the what is the uh, positivity. Yeah. And also that another uh, fifth uh, this in the same condition, see in a product of u comma u is 0 if u must be 0. Yeah. Suppose, I am going to take let u is having a components are uh, 0 comma 0. Yeah, just you take it in a product of uh, whatever u comma u, u is 0 means what happened? This is 0 this term is 0, this term is 0, definitely this is 0, is if and only if what u is 0. What they define here based on that suppose choose u is a 0 vector, first term is 0, second term is 0, sum is 0, therefore, satisfied this also, uh, definiteness also satisfied. Therefore, the given uh, u and v is belongs to v to of r, then what they define inner product between u and v is nothing but 4 u 1 v 1 plus 5 u 2 v 2 it is a inner product space in v, v of r square or r square or v 2 of r. Now, it is satisfied uh, symmetry, additivity in the first lot and also homogeneity in the first lot and also is satisfied definiteness is very easy and also is satisfied positivity here is satisfied definiteness. Therefore, the given what they define in the problem is satisfied all the proper conditions or properties of uh, conditions of what in a product space. Therefore, the given defined uh, vector space is nothing but in a product space over a set of real numbers with the dimension is 2. This is a way I have to verify suppose they are given any uh, defined function under the vector space. This is a way I have to verify whether the defined function for the vector space is in a product space or not. I think everyone is clear, you take few more problems from the textbook and do it. Yeah. Now, before move, uh, uh, move to the next step, I am going to define uh, simply norm. You already known that, what is a definition of norm, where in the ve <coughs> vectors and in a vector calculus, but it is a very, very important. How to define norm? Yeah. Let V be a vector in the <coughs> V is a 
is in a vector in vector space, the norm of V is denoted by in both the side you have to write two uh, vertical lines, norm of V is nothing but square root of inner product of V comma V. Norm of E is nothing but how to define square root of inner product of V comma V. Suppose uh, this is nothing but suppose V is having, see you know that inner product of V comma V is nothing but no, square root of suppose V is having a row vector V comma V uh, V 2, now we get just like V uh, V dot V is nothing but square root of V 1 square plus V 2 square. Suppose is a what actually row vector, column vector you know that how to write uh, V transpose into V. Now, for example, I am going to take V is equal to 1, 2, 3. I want to find out norm of V. Norm of V is nothing but square root of this is a formula for to find out the norm value square root of inner product of V comma V is nothing but square root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. This is a way I have to find out the value. 1 square is 1, 4 plus 9 root 14. This norm is give rise length of the corresponding vector. Norm of V is give rise length of the vector V. That is another way, is any way, any where you already know that if you want to find out length of any vector, it is enough to find out norm. This norm, sometimes we are using norm V square. Norm, once you take square root, that is nothing but inner product of V comma V. Keep in mind. That is a very important while solving a problems. Norm is give rise length of the vector. The next, before move to the next step, I want to discuss uh, one more thing here, only one uh, uh, thing, distance. Yeah. <coughs> now, I have to choose two vectors say u and b are two vectors in a vector space over a field set of real numbers with dimension is n. Now, I want to find out that take a difference uh, u minus v, take a difference between u minus v. You want to find out difference between u minus v is nothing but norm of u minus v. If you want to find out difference between u and v in a inner product space, I now I have to choose two vectors a u and v in an inner product space or a set of real numbers with dimension n, take a difference. Distance between u and v is nothing but dist of is denoted by what? Dist of u minus v is nothing but norm of u minus v. You know that how to define norm, square root of inner product of u minus v comma u minus v, that is all. This is a way I define distance between the two vectors is denoted by u minus p is nothing but dist of u minus p is nothing but norm of u minus p. If you want to find out distance between the difference between two vectors, u minus p is nothing but norm of u minus p is nothing but square root of inner product of u minus p comma u minus p. We are not going to use anywhere, but I am telling that suppose you required in your core subject, this way I have to find out distance uh, between the two vector. This distance uh, between the norm, norm I told, norm give rise, what I told norm of e is now give rise length of the vector v, like that. Distance between u minus v give rise length, length of the vector v u minus v. What is a vector here? u is a vector, v is a vector, difference is again a vector, this give rise, this norm is give rise, distance uh, what about length of the vector u minus v. In the next class, uh, yeah. Now, I am going to discuss next uh, one orthogonality of a vector. Okay? Yeah. Now, these things fundamental things we discuss. Now, we are going to discuss orthogonality that is a very, very important orthogonality, uh, orthogonality it, orthogonal set, orthonormal set these things are very, very important. Now, I am going to take orthogonal uh, ortho, orthogonality, orthogonal vector, orthogonal vector. Okay. When we say that vectors are orthogonal, now suppose choose two vectors, say let u and v, 
is in a vector space over a field f. Field f is a set of real numbers suppose I am going to take. Now, suppose choose two vectors in a vector space over a field uh, suppose having n dimension. Now, u and v are orthogonal it is enough inner product of u comma v must be equal to 0. Yeah. Suppose choose two vectors in a inner product space or a set of real numbers here I taken dimension and if you want to take two with the two components three under choice of u inner product between these two vectors is 0 then we say that the corresponding these two vectors are orthogonal. Now, let the set of vectors a v 1, v 2, v 3 etcetera v k is a set of non zero non zero set of non zero vectors of vector space or a set of real numbers then the this set is a orthogonal set what I consider one set of vectors is a non zero uh, 0 set of vectors non zero value v 1 v 2 v 3 etcetera v v k I consider one set of vectors it is a set of non zero vectors of vector space or a, uh, a real number of dimension n. Then this set of vector is a orthogonal set if inner product of v i comma v j equal to 0 for i is not equal to j for every i j is belongs to v 1, v 2, v 3 etcetera v k. Then we say that this set of vectors are orthogonal set. Yeah, suppose having uh, one set of vectors say v 1, v 2, uh, v 3 having a set of non zero vectors they are defined uh, on a vector space or a set of real numbers with dimension uh, 3. Okay. Now, when we say that this set is orthogonal set now v 1 inner product of v 1 comma v 2 equal to 0, inner product of v 2 comma v 3 0 and also inner product of v 1 comma v 3 equal to 0. In all case i is not equal to j. Then we say that this set of vectors are orthogonal set. Keep in mind orthogonal how to say uh, define orthogonal two vectors uh, choose two vectors say u and v in a vector space or a set of real numbers in a inner product space or a set of real numbers. Now, the inner product between u and v is must be 0. Then we say that these two vectors are orthogonal. Now, I am choose I will go for in further higher uh, version. I choose some set of vectors a v 1, v 2, etcetera, v k We a set of non zero vectors or a uh, vector space or a uh, say a set of real numbers with dimension n. The if inner product when we say that this set of vectors are orthogonal in a product of vi comma vj vi comma vj equal to 0 for i is not equal to j. Suppose for example, I have taken the set having 3 vectors when we say that these vectors are orthogonal this set this set of vectors are orthogonal set it is enough to verify in a product between v 1 v 2 v 2 v 3 and v 1 v 3 is equal to 0 then we say that this set of vectors v 1, v 2, v 3 are orthogonal or a vector space or a set of real numbers of dimension 3 are dimension n. This is a way I have to verify whether the set is orthogonal or not. We are going to solve one problem based on that. Now, I choose uh, one uh, problem based on that. <coughs> yeah, I am a simple problem show that the set u 1, u 2, u 3 is an orthogonal set orthogonal set. Now, these were set of vectors defined in inner product space. Okay. Yeah. 
Now, I to show that this is an inner product space and also they are given what are u1, u2, u3. Without you knowing u1, u2, u3, I can't verify. They are given rho vector 3 comma 1 comma 1, u is u2 is minus 1 comma 2 comma 1 and v u3 is minus of minus 2 comma 7 by 2, 7 by 2 they are given. Okay? Now, I want to verify whether this set of vectors or uh, this is a non-zero vector, see absolute three, at non-zero vectors means at least one of the companies, this is a, this is a how many components have? Uh, three components, therefore, the u1, u2, u3 is a uh, non-zero uh, set of vectors in a vector space or a set of real numbers with the dimension 3 because having three components. Okay? Now, here they are given row vectors. Observe clearly u2, u1, u2, u3 are non-zero vectors. Non-zero vectors means at least one of the component is not equal to 0 in, in which vector. Then we say that the vectors are non-zero vectors. Now, first you find out what is the inner product of u1, comma u2. This is a row vector, I will take just like a dot product. You know how to do the dot product, just you multiply 3 into minus 1, minus 3, okay. 3 into 2, 2, 1 into 1, 1 we get 0. Similarly, find out inner product of u 2 comma u 3. Now, is nothing but u 2 dot u 3, inner pro dot product between u 2 and u 3. Multiplied with the first component minus 1 into minus half, if you want to write down and then 2 into minus 2 and then 1 into 7 by 2. Yes? Now, what we get actually? Uh, 1 by 2, yes, minus 4 plus 7 by 2. 1 by 2 plus 7 by 2 is 4 by uh, 8 by 2, 8 by 2 is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay. And then we have to find out inner product between u1, comma u, uh, u3. 3 into 1, 3 into minus of first components, uh, second component 1 into minus 2 and then 1 into 7 by 2, simplified. Minus 3 by 2, minus 2 plus 7 by 2. Now, minus 3 by 2 plus 7 by 2 is 4 by 2, 4 by 2 is 2, minus 2 we get 0. Therefore, what they given the set of factors u 1 comma u 2 comma u 3 is a what type of uh, set is orthogonal set or is uh, in or is uh, inner product space of set uh, that inner product space is defined over a set of real numbers with dimension is 3 because they are having a 3 components. This is a way verify that whether the given set of factors are orthogonal set or not. Yeah, I will come back uh, some other concept in the next class. Thank you.